Welcome back to the shop. Um, as most of you know, I do little hobbies where I cut little rocks like this. Focus, focus. There we go. There we go. Focus. There we go. Alright. Um, I cut little rocks like this uh, and use for jewelry, and some people want to know if I can drill a little tiny hole in there. And so I ordered some of these. Some of these old drill bits. They were a dollar, maybe 50 cents a piece, 10 bucks for the whole set on Amazon. And they are, so we can zoom in there, pretty much just diamond coated, um, crappy drill bits, I guess. There's metal, or, or they are metal, I think, and it looks like they just dipped them in an epoxy and, um, and then dipped them in some diamond powder, kind of like a sugar cookie. Anyway, we're going to see how they work. For today's experiment, what we need is the rock, the drill bit, the brick to put everything on, and a bucket of water for um, cooling said drill bit, because you're supposed to drill those underwater. And then the, the beer is for good luck. Most people usually use these... Um, Use a Dremel kit, which is a little handheld guy. Um, it's got a little variable speed on there, um, a little tiny drill bit, and they hand do these. But since I since I like precision, well, this is a knockoff version, the Proxon instead of the Dremel. Since I like precision, we're gonna do a little something different, and we're going to use. This guy. Big old drill press. Should be fun. Alright, I've got us all set up here. I've got a, a, I think that's a one millimeter diamond coated bit in there. Got my rock sitting in there and got my water. And I've got the drill press set to not go too far in the water because I don't want my chuck to get all, all full of water. It's coated in oil right now. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, and for RPM's sake, I've got it set to uh, 3,000 RPM. Generally, on the RPM side, the harder the substance, the slower you go, but also the smaller the drill bit, the faster you go. So I honestly have no idea what to do. Um, so I'm just gonna go fast. Should work. See how it works. Okay, that's too much water. We'll try again. Okay, take two, less water. Uh, contact. The drill bit's bending. I don't know if you can see that. That's no bueno. Let's try that something else. <laughs> Alright, take three. Uh, I tightened the shit out of it. Uh, maybe that'll work. Um, contact! Still kind of bending a little bit. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's not do that. Looks bad. Okay, next take. I uh, upgraded from the one millimeter to the millimeter and a half drill bit. Um, I think the chuck wasn't happy with the one millimeter. It's pretty on the low end of what it can handle, so maybe this will work. Uh, contact. <laughs> Yes! 
right, let's see what it looks like. Focus. Focus. Yeah, look at that. There is a hole in that rock. And I don't think it really chipped at all. That's cool. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up a size and I'm going to countersink the outside of the back and the front of the hole just so when somebody um, you know puts something through it over time it won't chip any further um, and for the next take I will put a marker and center it because that shit is not center at all all right all right we are going to countersink those holes make them a little bit cleaner and uh, less viable to chip in the future. Uh, contact. Shit, I missed. <laughs> uh, good thing this isn't a finished piece. There we go. Nice. All there. Let's see the back side. Back side's gonna be a little bit harder. All right, just touched up. Let's see what it looks like. All right, Let's focus there a little bit. There we go. Let's zoom in. Oh, we're pretty zoomed in already. So, not sure if you can tell, but that's countersunk just a touch. Some chips off there. Nice good hole. Minimal chippage. And it should last a pretty long time. Alright, thanks for watching.